All right, guys. Sorry about that. I'm, uh, I reached uh, maximum capacity on my uh, screen record, so let's get back to it and finish out this um, uh, uh, episode. Best as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. All right. Good to know. All right. Um... You know what? Fuck it. Let's go ahead and get that over with, because then I think when I get back is whenever I gotta search for batteries. I don't You're want the fucking candy shot. bar! Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. Hey, Connie. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Ready as over, B. All right, let's do this. Damn, these episodes are longer than what I thought they was. I got my um, uh, screen record set to fucking 60 minutes. Get down! Before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. You can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. should hold on to that. Pick them in handy. Oh, 
is awesome. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Yeah, well, go fucking look, dumbass. See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. <laughs> Damn! Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? The fucking speed! We'll be right behind you. I always forget about that damn speed, man. All right, let's do this. Two left. One motherfucker's gonna get an axe to the head. Axe to the head, axe to the head. Let's do this right now. Hey, yay. That was the throat, but okay. Here, big boy, catch. Rad. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. Oh, no. She's in trouble. No. This, we're coming in. Oh, great. That wrong button. You might want to break through that board first. Uh, you might want to shut the fuck up. I clicked the wrong button. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's mm. too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me, please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What no. do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just 
you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. News flash. I don't know. I just want couldn't think of anything. <laughs> oh, I know what there. Can't wait for this damn episode to end. Everyone, all right? No. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, uh, I know I gotta, I gotta get go. Some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? I know I gotta go there. in here. And then I gotta get Carly batteries or do I just go talk to Doug because I know I got to talk to Doug but I need this damn it's the remote to my dad's TV I know I need that so let's get the hell out of here yeah it's been like I said it's been about two and a half months or so since I played this so I've got done forgot how to play this damn game half the most of the time. Uh wait. I was about to say who the fuck's just standing in the corner? Uh, what the fuck did I just pick up? Oh, another candy bar. Uh Hey there. What are you working what are you on? Around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Need here, batteries. Let me have a look. Everybody knows that. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. No one are you gonna, yeah. not going to get it to work. <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. A fucking battery? Uh, now the question is, is if I, if I remember where the fuck the fuckers are, I know there, I know there's somewhere, or there's one right there. Uh, wait, 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 nope, okay, um. Motherfucker, where the hell? Where the hell are all the damn batteries at? I got one. I know there's like four or five of them in here.
Yeah, look in his box. Looks like nobody maybe. got a chance to donate nope. anything before this all went down. All right, check the floors. Check the floors. Be, might be like, aha. All right, there's two. I know there's a couple more somewhere. Oh, well, screw it. Here. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yep, until you fucking put them in there backwards, because I already know what you're about to do. <laughs> it's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. I'm pretty Go sure ahead. everyone's made that mistake once or twice. Yeah, I know I have. And get a brand new radio and then accidentally put the batteries in backward. Oh, pain in the ass to fucking try and switch them out with that spring in there, but. Uh, just for a better signal, go ahead and do this. Flip this big this bad boy around. Power. As the unknown affliction continues to spread on he fixed it. The estimated no shit. Continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors. Put them battery in there, right? I guess some thing. Nothing lucky. May have been exposed. Wanna step the outside station is have okay. Around? In the event of a full <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. Uh, my, no, my the gate up there is closed. We, we the can hang out in front of the Steve. store and be fine. Oh, okay. uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. Sure. All right, Screw now I'm uh, cool. radio is done, we'll Blair. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Oh, don't Agreed. worry, we got this. Uh, fuck, come on. I know who has the keys, but I don't exactly remember how to get the keys. Jesus. I know you had to come out here. Yeah. Apparently, I need to go down to bed. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all we care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's gonna be a couple of fucking hundred years. All right, I know we got to do this, and no homeboy here is going to program the television. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Okay, well, well fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. All right, and then here's where we get the keys. But I gotta wait for all this shit to get over with. I got a few of them to take notice. Not enough, though. But not enough. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Simple. Already did. You wouldn't need long, right? Nope. Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Awesome. Yeah. Distract those things. Until the fucking uh... I can't reach that brick. Well open the fucking door then. Can't slowly open the door for a very for a small little brick. Large enough to reach out for a brick. Like, come on now.
Apparently these fuckers are blind as fuck. Now's the time. Now's the time. Will they move your ass? Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Zombies two feet from you. Did you find them yet? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of them all, that helped. If you quit aiming for the damn throat. Uh, that's the fourth fucking time. Now come on, just finish that. Thank you. Shut the hell up and stop screaming. He could have probably just moved back over. But no. <sighs> Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Yep. Let's get those pills. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. It won't work. And now she's here to the Clementine. I know that this fucking alarm is... Wait, no. It's not the scene, never mind. Is there even a way to turn off that damn alarm? Like, for real though. Wait, it is this scene, isn't it? I hope the hell not. Yep. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Is there even a way to turn that damn alarm off? I don't fucking know. It'd be nice, though. I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Nice. Right, that door's not locked anymore. 
Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know! I thought y'all just shut the fuck I up and close the door. Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Are you sure? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. The window is screwed! Oh. Mm, I found something! Can't save any of them, but it it's fucking easy though, wouldn't it? Cause like for real, you give her the fucking motherfucker. Give her her fucking thing in her purse. She shoots the zombie, then turns over to Doug and pops him. Like it'd be that, it'd be that tough, no, wouldn't it? Get him off of me! Oh my god. I got Doug. They, they... You gotta move! They're not covering the fish, you son of a bitch! No! Letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. I mean, yeah, they drug him out of the window, but still, in a real life situation, they wouldn't be dragging people out of windows, I don't think. Then you know they wouldn't even be able to bust through the fucking window, would they? Especially if it's boarded up, because unless I don't know. Oh man, Clementine, it was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all. And then this one time, Derek and Super Dan were in the city, but Derek had underwater megalodon. What? Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. It would land. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I thought, oh, these are going to be important. Find your friend. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. 
I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up if they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Did you check the glove box? Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. So Did you check awesome. the glove box? I swear I saw it. Here. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Oh, man. Check this out. Can you just look over there? How are you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Well, I can run you through the fucking basics right here. Let me pause this for a minute. One, you're, you're a damn good shot. Two, um, uh, like I said earlier, you could have just shot the two zombies there and then fucking went a, a fucking aim towards Doug and fucking helped him out. But you hesitated on pulling the trigger on that first zombie, which fucked Doug over. And three, only thing i seen Doug able to actually do is watch a door. Like, he was not helping at all, but I know that's not an option, but Still, I got a feeling if that was a real life situation, even if I was like blocking the door, like, well, I mean, I wasn't blocking the door at the time, but I'm, uh, anywho, I just, I just got a feeling that that could have went a whole different ball game. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. And then you had to go and move them. It was so awesome. SD had a sweet underwater jetpack and then go. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow pow pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then Hey Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. It is to keep track of things. I'm not sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed I again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. So Glenn had the other one. And then you had to go and move them. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm Did just sad. I know it doesn't make I any sense. Either. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Hold the fuck up a minute. I've played the Telltales of the Walking Dead millions and millions of times. I even have the Telltales of the Wolf Among Us. I never fucking noticed that the same voice actor for Clementine is the same one for fucking Toad's Kid and the fucking Wolf Among Us. Everyone's going to laugh at me, but most of the people that see this is going to be like, wait, are you fucking serious? And then they're going to go fucking play the game. Then they're going to realize it's the exact same fucking voice actor. Like, bruh, how have I not fucking noticed this? At all. Until now. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh, I mean, man, it might... Clementine, another thing. 
What do you want? You like my daughter? Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? I always forgot that he had to talk to everybody in this fucking scene. My dad scene. would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Nope. I got a feeling I. I got a feeling that's pretty damn plant. defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. No, you don't. There are worse places to call home. Three. Yeah, you're right. Two. You know, guys, one. I think it's going to be Darkness. okay. Okay, my time is a little off, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, they they might not be the same voice actor for Clementine and Toad's Kid, but it it, it fits in my book. Just hang on. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. Okay, now that that's done. But yeah, I'm, um, uh... Like that scene when she was just crying about the walkie. I'm, uh, it literally sounds in that one section like Toad Kid when he was, uh, if y'all played um, The Wolf Among Us, you'll know the scene I'm talking about. When he's talking to Big B Wolf about him, uh, the woman's body that he seen when he was under the water and he's like, she didn't have her head on. Yeah, that scene. That's the exact fucking tone. Well, I wouldn't say tone, but I'm pretty sure it's the exact same actor. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to look into it. But, I'm, uh, yeah, so far it's a pretty good um, uh, episode. The only downside is I'm not going to look forward to the second one because I like the games, yeah, but I can't fucking play them all the time like I used to. I used to uh, get on here and complete one game a day. I I literally, when I first bought it, I got on, beat the first Walking Dead game with Lee in a day. Then the next day, I'd go do fucking season two with Clementine and so on and so on. I'd literally beat the entire fucking um, uh, thing within like four or five days. But then again, no, the fourth 
And the fourth game was shown game wasn't too long. So I probably actually I probably beat it within four days. Because I think, honestly, Michonne's story and um, uh, the fourth game is, honestly, if you just sit down and play it, I'd say probably three hours a piece for each game if you just get sit down and just play. But, okay, I'm going to end the video here, and I will see you guys in episode two if you like the first one. I'm basically, like I said, I'm just doing a test run to see if everyone likes it or whatnot. So, yeah. All right. Like, like the video if you want to see more, and I will see you.